amateur in professional boxing. It just reeks a little bit of the Cassius Clay type of thing, which I'm never entirely in favour of. But anyway, he's been made to take Cox to Sobrero before he gets into the ring. This is Raul Vega waiting now while Alan Rudkin, the British champion, makes his way to the ring. You can hear the reception Rudkin is getting. Alan Rudkin, the Liverpool boy, the baby-faced Liverpool kid, the with it kid, we call him, and he's very much with it, the Beetle hairstyle. He does a full-time job, works in a greetings card uh, printing firm. He's got a wife and a young son. And he was brought up in the same street as Jerry of Jerry and the Pacemakers. And he rather represents the modern professional style of boxing. Here's our MC, Frankie Exley. Contest at number five, an international bantamweight contest of ten rounds, three minutes duration each round, between introducing in this corner the British and British Empire bantamweight champion from Liverpool, Alan Rutkin. when it says Norman Parra of California, the Radio Times, I must tell you that Parra went down with flu only last week and Vega has very, very quickly stepped into the breach and come all the way from Oshaka, which is near Mexico City, to fill Parra's place. So, Raul Vega, who has quite um, a useful knockout record, in fact, there are six one-round wins on his record sheet, so it'll be interesting to see whether he can make that sort of punch tell against this sort of class, and Rutkin represents just about the highest class you can get in the world in the bantamweight division today. So it's Alan Rudkin, the Beatles-style haircut boy from Liverpool, who met the world champion fighting a rider in November and lost on points. He took a rider the distance in a fine fight. Rudkin versus Raul Vega, who has this peppering of KO wins on his record. Vega is 25, Rudkin 24. Rudkin is not noted as a quick finisher to his fights. He's principally a very talented young boxer. And one would expect him possibly to have to go the distance to win. And we'll see how he handles a man with a reputed KO punch. third Mexican in a row that Rudkin has fought. What you must look for from Rudkin is good technique, variety of punches, good defense, skillful attack. as a stereotyped, but you couldn't call Rudkin that.
waiting to see signs of the big punch from Vega, but so far, the right hand has been strictly reserved for defense. Rudkin has done most of the scoring in this first round. Alan Rudkin in the same stable as Johnny Pritchett, the British middleweight champion, in the Bobby Neal stable. Neal leaning through the ropes there, former British featherweight champion. Rudkin is 24. This is his third fight since that world title fight in Japan last November. And I call this a pretty risky one because he's due to defend his British and Empire bantamweight titles on April the 26th at Wembley against Walter McGowan. That's not going to be an easy fight for him by any means. And to take a fight at this notice, uh, with that one coming up, could be quite a risky business for him. There's Vega, the 25-year-old Mexican, who comes, incidentally, from Oshaka near Mexico City, which is the same city that bred Vicente Saldivar, the world featherweight champion who fought Howard Winston in this country last year. 25 years old Vega, coming out for round two against Alan Rudkin from Liverpool. at the Nottingham Ice Rink. This is the arena where almost exactly a year ago tonight, Rudkin won his British and Empire titles against Johnny Caldwell. A good right hand, there it is. That's the big punch from Vega. And that certainly staggered Rudkin. 50 seconds of the second round gone. Oh uh, yes, the first time it came out, and it's a good punch. That was a very, very fast and heavy right hand. Rudkin knows what he's got to defend against. Rudkin completely recovered from that surprise. Definitely knew he got it. Rudkin rated in the top three or four bantamweights in the world, and Vega not in the top ten. This would be a major upset if Vega were to beat Rudkin. again. That's the second time in that round he threw it, and the second time he caught Rudkin, came right on the bell. So he kept that right hand tucked away for the first round and used it only twice effectively in the second round. There's no doubt at all that carries a lot of weight and a lot of danger for Rudkin. And so after two rounds completed, we now have a very interesting situation developing where Rudkin, who's got to fight a 10-rounder here, when that right hand could potentially always be a finisher. Let's have a look at uh, Vega. We didn't get much of a look at him last time. Here he is, very thin-faced, looks typically Mexican. 
His record is 20 fights. He's won 17 and lost three. But of those 17 wins, 13 have come inside the distance. Not all of them knockouts, but certainly six of them ended in the first round. Taken this fight at less than a week's notice. fascinating contest here between the boxer Rudkin and the puncher Vega and that's always a pretty surefire recipe for an exciting fight see Rudkin thinking this one out. Body punch from Rudkin, sort of punch that goes almost unnoticed by people sitting a long way back, but it was a good right hand which went right in. You might like to look at that right hand of Rudkin's. Every now and again, it sinks into Vega's body. He's got a fight on his hands here against this fellow. There's no doubt about it. Again, he has a habit of throwing it on the bell. Rudkin has just been nominated Fighter of the Month by an American boxing magazine, and he's ranked in that particular magazine's ratings as number four challenger for the world title, which is still held by Fighting Arada of Japan. He comes underneath Joe Modell of Mexico, Jesus Pimentel of Mexico, and Bernard Carabello of Colombia. He's had 27 professional fights, He's won 25 and he's lost two. One of them to Harada in that world title fight. The other one to Carl Taylor way back in his second professional fight when he was cut over an eye and he had to retire. But he avenged the defeat later on. Vega. This tall Mexican. A very dangerous puncher. Who's going to give Rudkin all the trouble he could possibly want here, I have a feeling. Fourth round.
also that right hand coming out of the clinches. Nice punch, good jab from Rutkin. Rudkin, he doesn't miss too many opportunities of putting a punch in and scoring. Notice how few punches Rudkin wastes. work of Rudkins is really a great speciality of his. It's almost unnoticed by a lot of people, but it's always going in there, and this is what saps the opponent's strength. right into the pit of the stomach. And Rudkin takes that slashing right hand again. This is the one punch with which Vader is dangerous. There's not much behind the left, 